a Milwaukee Brewer affiliate. Whitney swings away and hits a high drive deep left field on a 1-0 pitch. He has hit the ball out of here. Solo home run, Matt Whitney, number nine on the year, and Akron on the board first this afternoon, leading 1-0. Really only has one foot, that's his right foot. Only even half of that is on the rubber. Swing and a miss on a 2-2 pitch. Reichert gets his fourth strikeout and enjoys his first 1-2-3 inning. 3-2 pitch, Corley is running, and Delaney grounds one inside the bag at third base and down the left field line. Corley is going to be waved around from third base. Brad scoring all the way from first on an RBI double by Jason Delaney, and the curve have tied things up here in the fourth. It's 1-1. One one. First pitch to Bowers. Line shot off the glove of diving shortstop Chavez into left field. Delaney's going to try to score from second. The throw to the plate from left fielder Panther. It's up the line, and the curve have a lead. Delaney scores. Jason Bowers coming through again. Another RBI for the curve third baseman. He takes second on the throw. And the curve a 2-1 advantage. The 0-2 pitch from Dixon inside out. Flair down the right field line. Does it stay fair? Yes, it does. Bowers will score easily from second as Miguel Perez sneaks one inside the right field line. 3-1 Altoona. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Seven strikeouts for Dan Reichert. Belisario's 0-2. Swing and a miss. That's the ball game. It's a winner for the curve. They take four out of five for the Akron Arrows. And a terrific homestand. The curve goes six and three against both Harrisburg and Akron. This afternoon's final, it's the curve three and the Akron Arrows one. Dan Reichert, his first win in a curve uniform. Ronald Belisario, his third save.